Hey there traders, thanks for joining me for this video from the stockbandit.com. I'm sure glad that you could make it. So the last couple of sessions we've seen this market pull back considerably and we've seen a couple of big opening gaps that have accompanied that. So uh, you know the trick is how do you play this market? Uh, you know, can you short this pullback right now? Well, that remains to be seen, but let me just kind of walk you through a couple of thoughts here based on the last two days okay so Monday we saw a big gap to the downside this is an intraday chart these are three minute bars so this was Monday's session and then this move right here was Tuesday's gap and then the, you know the remainder was Tuesday's session so you know, let's take it one at a time here's Monday's session basically we spend the day pretty much range bound here from the open to pretty much the final bar of the day you know we sold off in the last couple of minutes of the day but uh, Prior to that last bar, basically from open to close, we had moved about 12 points lower. So, you know, we had a, a big move to the downside over 60 points on the day, but from open to close, there really wasn't a whole lot of activity unless you're a scalper, unless you've got, you know, the shortest of trading time frames. It's not the type of a gap to the downside that you could really get, uh, that you could really chase as an intraday trader and expect to see a whole lot of movement from it. So let's take a look at today. For the NASDAQ we had a 77 point gap to the downside. Okay, From the open of the day for the NASDAQ to the close we saw a net change of less than half a point. Half of one point. So the move took place on the open. We did see some back and forth. There definitely were some scalping opportunities long off this uh, attempt at a gap fill this morning and then obviously uh, some dips and rips along the way but overall we finished right where we started so there's really it's not the type of market that the last couple of days it's really been rewarding chasing these moves so the key is stay selective if you've got setups that you like that uh, are, are getting negated on the open so for example last night for subscribers I shared a handful of short sale candidates that I was eyeing for Tuesday's session. However, we gapped through those, so I never took those trades. So, you know, it kind of negates the setup if we're gapping through those levels. So stay selective, stay very disciplined with the setups that you're planning to trade. And other than that, just kind of wait and let the market collect itself. Let the setups come to you. Don't be forcing trades in this environment. It can be a very easy market to over trade, to just kind of churn your account along with the churn uh, in the intraday price action, uh, unless you're a very short term scalper. And, uh, you know, if so, then there definitely is still some opportunity. But for anyone who's got a time frame beyond a few minutes, uh, this is a market that really definitely just deserves respect right now and it's the type of market that can really chew you up if you're not very careful with how you're trading. So thanks again for joining me for this video. I will be back soon with more, but in the meantime, trade like a bandit.